Vlogmas. I am so happy my quays fit over my glasses because this was about to be a very bright drive. See, quays are the only glasses that I like on my face. Like, why can't my normal glasses look like this? Um, maybe I'll just walk around all day like this, just with my quays over them. <laughs> ah, that was such an ugly laugh. I said, ah. Hold on, let me turn the air up. It is hot in here. So today's gonna be a really fun and exciting day. So I am on my way to the Grove right now, and I'm about to go to the Kaylin and Kaylin Pickle, I don't know, it's stand, store, shop, whatever they call it. Um, they have sent me so many different flavored pickles, and I'm obsessed with their pickles, especially the honey mustard ones. And they've been inviting me into their place, but like the Grove is a little bit far from me, and I hate driving. But I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go today. Like, I really wanna meet them. The owner seems dope as shit. We wanna do a little pickle dance. And y'all know I am such a pickle girl, so this is my calling. I am so excited. Then after that, Cassidy's been talking about how she wants a cat, and I've been trying to convince her for like over two years to get one. But she finally thinks the time might be right. We were talking about going to a cat cafe, and I shit you not, my mom looked in her emails, and literally like, the, in that moment, saw that I had an email from a cat cafe. They wanted me to come to their shop. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like Cass, it's fate. Your freaking cat, you're, you're leaving with one today. Like there's no way she's not. But I'm really excited for her because I really hope she finds one. That would be awesome. But yeah, I've never been to a cat cafe. I've always said I'd want to like open one one day and I've never even been, but like I just love the concept of it. So I'm really excited. And then we're thinking of after that, there's an Erewhon over there, which is really exciting because I never go to Erewhon, which is probably a great thing because it's like expensive for no reason. But um, there's an Erewhon like 10 minutes away from that area. So we're thinking of heading over there and getting a freaking $20 smoothie. I'm not going to lie though. Erewhon's food is not great. I think people overhype that. But their smoothies are genuinely very good and they're good for you. So I will say I understand the hype there. But I'm really excited because I feel like we have a whole day ahead of us. And then my friend's going to come over later. So we love it. We love it here. We love it here. Great packed day. And it's cool because like technically this is work, but it's like a really fun day's worth of work. <laughs> and to just give a quick update on how I am feeling, I feel a million times better. I have a very slight cough still. Um, and like I'm waking up with like really dry boogers. This is like so gross, but I'm gonna tell you guys because I've never really dealt with this before. I have like these like super dry boogers that are like latching onto my nose skin. And obviously like I'm, I literally sit and like try to pick them out and like cotton swab them out and shit. And when it comes off, it literally, like, detaches the skin, too, so it hurts like hell. So then, like, scabs are forming, but then boogers are latching onto the scabs. And I'm like, what the hell? But that's, like, TMI. So I'm just putting, like, Aquaphor because I can't find my Vaseline. But I'm just putting Aquaphor in my nose. And I woke up, and it's a lot better today. I don't seem to have any latched on. Um, I'm definitely way less mucusy. So there's that. At least this happened before Christmas. Thank goodness. I would have been so upset. I'm also really excited because I know the Grove always decorates really cute for Christmas, so I'm really excited to go see it today. I'm screaming. The amount of little, like, car antlers I am seeing in the road is just ridiculous. Like, I keep driving past them. And it makes me sad because when I was in Vegas, so pretty much the reason why they fall off is because they attach to your window, and if you roll your window down, they're they're just gone. The last couple times I've gone to the drive-thru, I, like, forget about it, and I've had to, like, get out of my car, go pick it up, and, like, the drive-thru people are trying to talk to me, and I'm like, I'm sorry, my antler fell off. But when me and my dad went to Vegas last week, <coughs> see, it's not as chesty anymore. It's just like a little, <laughs> it's a cute cough. <laughs> Get the mucuses out. But when me and my dad went to Vegas, I rolled my window down and it freaking fell out in the middle of the street. We had to drive past it. So I just ordered new ones. But I was like, damn, they need to like, <laughs> so this time my dad, the smart guy he is, decided to tell me to put them on my back windows because I never use those. But like they need to design reindeer antlers to go on your car that like won't fall off <laughs> the hot girl <laughs> how cute i made it look who it is Yay. the man the myth the, the legend, legend. <laughs> <laughs> time to eat pickles for breakfast guys i'm gonna try every pickle we got literally everything here full sour half sour blazing sour number one flavor <laughs> oh yeah I the really honey mustard like the honey. I was like, I need them now. <laughs> the honey mustard is so good. You need to try these. These are my favorite. Pickle flight. Flavors that all written down in the Oh. Honey mustard. Okay, wow. cute. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, that's very cute. Which one is this one? That's the honey mustard. Oh. You gotta start oh. off with we know oh. you love. I already mm -hmm. know. Best breakfast ever. 
this actually is this is the only pickle that I know. Right? Mm. So it's not that it's bad. It's just very sweet. Gotcha. So this is the most controversial pickle between scared. the pickle lovers, because you either hate it or you love it. Okay. But a I did create pickle. I did create a way to eat it. It's a bread and butter. Okay. Whoa. What does it taste like? Kind of tastes like Christmas. <laughs> hot those hot candies. Hot tamales. Because it's got cinnamon. I love it. Okay, wait. Oh my gosh, it's literally like eating Christmas. So I, I figured out a way that I would enjoy eating them. This is sweet heat. See, now this is when it's going to get me because I do not like spice. Oh, you don't? <laughs> You're in trouble here. It's really, it's really spicy? It's got a kick. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm scared. <laughs> now it really is like a hot tamale. <laughs> it's actually not that spicy though. Right. Okay, I'm feeling it. <laughs> this will get you now. So okay. That's our classic dough. Class oh, okay. oh, oh, it's a classic. Oh, oh yeah. Ocean dill. So this one's okay. a little less dilly and a little less salty. Oh. I think I prefer the saltier one. But that it's one still really good. Do you like most radish? Normally, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared of this one. This one is not for me. <laughs> this is called spicy garlic spears, but it's just got a little spice. It's garlic. This is the oh, one I, I love. Garlic. I okay. Oh, it's really good. Oh, it's really good. So, this, so we have. Three fermented ones, so no vinegar. And I actually still make these in New York. I don't make these three oh, wow. here. So half salad is like a fresh salted cucumber. Okay, guys. So the word fermented scares me because in Iceland I tried fermented shark and it was the nastiest thing I ever ate in my not life. Be the thing fermented <laughs> shark <laughs> sounds already <laughs> scary. <laughs> Try it. Okay. It's a cucumber. That's like a salted cucumber. Oh my gosh. It's good. It's good. Is it refreshing? Yeah, this is like the deli Super ones. Refreshing. I love that. So this is kind of what I grew up with. So this is, yeah, wow. you go into it like a Jewish deli in New York, mm -hmm. this is what's on the table. Wow. I did when I went to New York. What's that one called? The they gave me. Which one? That one? That's a full sour. Full sour. So it's not crunchy, it's sour. It's really good. Oh, wow. That's the brine. That's, if you drink that brine, it gets rid of crabs. It's good for a hangover. Uh, it's all probiotics. I love pickle juice. I would drink that whole thing. <laughs> so weird. I've never had a pickle with no crunch. It is literally like biting into mashed potatoes. Pickle. Oh, is this the juice? Okay, guys. Healthy gut. <laughs> oh, wow. So good. Oh my God. <laughs> well, you'll get me to take a shot. Give it to me. That's pickle juice. Everything else is spicy. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. Are you going to be okay? Seriously? Are you gonna cry? I might cry. What is this one? Just spicy pickle? Jalapeno. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. You know what? I'm gonna be smart here. It's good. Oh, that is good. Right? It literally tastes like exactly like a jalapeno. Okay, it's not that spicy. Okay. Spicy dill chip. Spicy dill chip. Oops. Pickle down. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I think that's my favorite spicy one. So All right, the last one really is, like is the full sour that you really like. We're gonna do sauerkraut after. Oh no, sauerkraut! <laughs> sour, good sauerkraut. Okay. No surprising. So this is the full sour. Okay. Yeah. Red Thai chili pepper. <laughs> oh, is this one really spicy? It's kind of kick. It won't kill you. I mean, we don't. It's not like a ghost pepper. Take a bite. Because it won't kill you, it's probably gonna have me on the floor. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> you need like a normal pickle? <laughs> the full sour red hot chili is not for me. Okay, what is this? The sauerkraut? Mustard sauerkraut. It's crazy how like all my least favorite things taste really good in pickle form. Like honey mustard I hate, but the pickle is so good. 
Oh my gosh, I'm trying. <laughs> we'll nail it. Throw it like a shot. Oh. It's real. What the heck? That is good. Yay! Thank you! <laughs> You got backwards, right? Yeah, I always put it on backwards and twist it. Is that weird? Yeah, that is weird. <laughs> that is weird. Like, I was like, what? But I'm like, I don't know, I've been doing it since I was a kid. Oh, I like the large better. I like it. Oh, that's cute. We get to go in the booth. <laughs> hey, everyone, come get your pickles. <laughs> Guys, it's so many pickles. Oh, yes. We were just saying how we want a Coke so bad. All right. <laughs> yes, that is what I needed. All right, guys. So the owner of Kaylin and Kaylin Pickles is incredible. I sharded. I love that guy. She literally sharded. <laughs> yeah, we had to make an emergency bathroom break. I wasn't going to I wasn't gonna tell anyone, but since she's care. coming clean, I guess the world knows my best friend sharts. <laughs> Um, but he's great. I love him. If you guys are ever at the Grove, stop there. He's great. Um, and now we're on our way to the cat cafe. Yay! Do you think you're gonna find a cat? I hope so. Here we are. <laughs> oh, look at those sleepy babies. I'm gonna go home with another cat. This is gonna be the hardest no of my life. And then did you for the hot dog? Getting the hot cocoa. She's getting a latte. <laughs> Guys, I feel like I could just go to shelters and stuff like this and just pet animals all day. Look at this little baby knocked out. This one's name is Brave. He's got a pointy little face. And that's Rotini. I got my hot cocoa. This is really good hot chocolate. Cheers! Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> so cute. Look at them. Look at that little face. And this one has the most unique little face. Oh, look at this. I just want to give you a little boop. Look at this little baby sleeping in a bowl. This little guy stuck his head in someone's treats and it got stuck. He ran around this whole place with his bag on his head so scared until it fell off because no one could grab him because he was like running. And he ran into the, this little bench over here and it fell off his head and he was covered in treats like in his eyes and everything. I was like, oh, oh my God. But his name is Brave. He wasn't very brave then. So I have to go to the bathroom and there's cats in here. And I have to pee, and this lady was in here, like, playing with a cat. And I'm, like, trying to be nice, and I was like, do you mind if I go to the bathroom? And she was like, like, bitch, I'll piss on this floor. Give me fucking two minutes, and you can have your cat back. I, I thought that was so rude. Oh, my God. But don't mind me. Just about to pee with a friend. Guys, this is why I don't paint my nails, swear. I'll only do press-ons. I had this on for like two days and look at how crusty I look. But thank you, it's a cute little sticker. Putting it right on my computer. How did you like it? I think it was fun, it got a scratch. She did not find her kitty though. No. But those cats were so freaking cute. Like, I just wanna take them all home, you know? Like, I wish I could. But I will say when you know, you know. Cause like, the way I felt when I looked at Gus for the first time, excuse me, I didn't feel that at all for none of these cats. Like, I love them all and I want to take them all home. But you know when you find your cat. Yeah. So we're going to find her, her cat. Yeah, I got <laughs> all right, guys, I have to get the Haley Bieber. It's good for your skin. $18 for a smoothie. Oh, you know I'm about to try this. Hey, let's try the pumpkin pie. You guys know I love pumpkin pie. Mine's way better. I'm sorry. So I got their mac and cheese. It's gluten free. Their buffalo cauliflower and a slider because the slider looks so good. Mm. That's good. I just spent fifty dollars here. Mm. 
Mac and cheese is okay. This is messy. Oh, that burger is great. Oh, really? Mm hmm Burger is worth the money, for real. Cheers! <laughs> All right, this is my first time trying to eat with Beaver. <laughs> You never tried it. Oh my god, that's good. That literally tastes like a strawberry shortcake. Wow. I'm telling y'all, their smoothies are actually worth the price because they're so good and they're so good for you. So the thing I love about Erewhon, I will say, is their food is like good for you. It's like actually nutritious and you don't feel like shit after and you're not super like bloated. Like you don't feel big after. Like you actually feel good. Like I feel like I could go start my day and be energetic <laughs> but i just dropped Cass back off at her car at the farmer's market at the grove that's where the pickles were i hate it down here bro it is too busy it's wild and no one knows how to freaking drive i get so anxious this is why i don't do much because i don't like driving and i don't like being in this chaotic ass shit. like there's so much to do here and i would do it if i had someone to drive me like that's the main reason i want a man so i can be your passenger princess and go do a bunch of fun stuff but you get to drive and i get to not be panicked but at least I'm beating the traffic right now. And it's not too trafficy on Saturday. Anyways, I'm really happy I'm out of this chaotic ass mess. And now I'm headed to an animal shelter with Cassidy. I cannot be in here. I can't believe they have This is so sad. I can't be in here. Oh, no, they all need a home. Oh. Hi. That shelter has me in literally such a sad mood. Like my whole day is over now. Like I'm literally so sad. Like I've never been inside of an animal shelter cause like Mia, for example, she was rescued from a shelter. I don't know if I ever told you guys the story but she was rescued from a shelter, the Humane Society, when she was a pup. And then I found her walking at this like apple festival. It was like this family walking her, she had an Adami bandana on and apparently her original owner was diagnosed with stage four cancer and wasn't able to take care of her. And that was very shortly after she got adopted. I adopted her when she was only eight months old. <coughs> so she was technically a rescue and I found her just like randomly when I was out. So that's how I know she was like made for me because she came to me. And then Gus, I rescued him from the SPCA LA, but they don't like, they didn't let you inside cause it was kind of like around COVID. So I applied for him online. Cause I like knew when I saw him, like I knew that was my cat. So I went and they just like brought him out to me and I was like, yeah, this is my cat, like a hundred percent. So I've never really been like inside of a shelter. <coughs> and that broke my heart. Like, I can't do it, guys. I'm literally so sad. And they were the sweetest little babies. I wanted to save all of them and it just breaks my heart. And I grabbed their little card because I'm thinking of volunteering there. Because like I have a platform, so it'd be really cool for me to be able to like post all the animals that come in for you guys. Because who knows, like maybe one of your animals is sitting in that shelter, you know? Like maybe I could help them get adopted. But I'm going to have to see the specific criteria they require for being a volunteer. Because like I travel a lot and I can't commit. I need to be able to like commit time when I'm available to. And I want to make sure that it's like I could come in and play with them and like donate stuff to them and like post them online. Like, you know, that kind of stuff. I have to see what specifically they're looking for within volunteers. But I just want to like give them love like those you saw how small those kennels were like i just want to go and love them and get them adopted but they didn't have any cats there all the cats were adopted apparently yesterday all of them got adopted and i'm like oh it's probably to go to like a cat cafe or something like that but it's cool because it's you know <coughs> i don't know guys but i'm about to head back home i'm gonna just kind of clean up a little bit that's probably going to be the end of the vlog today. I don't really feel like it anymore. That really made me sad. I'm going to say goodbye. Bye, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, Bumbleina had zero adopters today. She had zero applications. And she's just so sweet. She just is misunderstood because she was just shy. And that feels so bad because she was hiding in the bathroom when I went. Are you about to go adopt her tomorrow? Yeah.